What is 22 of 44? And we're back. Hello. Welcome to the Hypertrophy Odyssey, chapter 35. We are on Vampire Killer Day, Thursday. I am kind of tired, but not that tired. In a recent update, I got a new bed. The bed is installed yesterday. That took me all day. It was not a quick process, but it was a process nonetheless, and I enjoyed it last night. It felt great. That made me want to stay in bed, honestly. But, you know, it is what it is. Today, we have the upper body. Vampire Killer, looking forward to that. It feeling like I'm, I'm, I'm like a little drowsy right now just kind of like uh. but I know that when I get in there I'm gonna be hyped up as soon as I smell the gym because there's a certain smell that the gym has the camera is f like freaking the fuck out there you go I wonder why but anyways my face hasn't changed that much maybe the Sun anyways today I was thinking about this I kind of didn't have something to talk about but I will say I think for transparency sake something that I could talk about now and I think this was this happened to me yesterday the overall title will be old habits die hard because yesterday this morning i should say after the last three days because the last three days have been basically a culmination of day before my birthday my birthday and then the day after because of that i have been eating like crazy and because of that this morning i woke up at 198 which was not good no bueno and right now i'm having a little bit of a mental struggle with the idea of having to go back on the diet immediately and i this is such a old habit that has kicked my ass every once in a while particularly in diet form or in the past that has crept up every once in a while and these periods have lasted depending on the time of the year plus what's happening plus you know sometimes events that happen within each other's time frame so for example something like this happened in December where all month long I was just not caring about the diet at all and I understood that that type of stuff not necessarily good there are other times where it lasted like a week when I went to India last year I went completely balls off the wall aka did not care to do any type of dieting obviously I was in a new country I didn't really care but I also didn't do any physical work or exercise at all so that kind of bogged me down in that two-week span of being in India I gained like 11 pounds or something like that you gotta be careful about these things and then I feel today as the after the three-day feast of, of just stuff, I'm like, all right, gotta get back on it. And it's a little tough, like I have to mentally, it's like now that I, I've stopped, I cooled down a little too much, so now I have to warm back up and mentally preparing. And that's where it's like uh, these old habits, you know, of getting, letting the diet loose a little, just because it's like, ah, uh, X event X or Y is, is all on me, but it, it is just, it's a tough thing to like really gauge down. But I think three days is better than 30 days because that's what was happening before. Why is the camera off? fucking up today what the fuck anyways but like i was saying this is one of those living and learning experiences i'm kind of glad that i can kind of trim it down to three days rather than 30 because i know i want to reach my goal as soon as possible i don't know if mid-march will be on the menu but we'll have to wait and see i know that i will probably lose a couple extra pounds this week because of water weight you know just just generally i retain it we always discuss this uh, rice i didn't do rice but i had a lot of carbs in the last two days aka pizza it was pizza time for the last two days lots of pizza we'll have to wait and see also cake too i also got a couple of free cakes so that was that was nice that is what it is i gotta get back on the diet gotta get back on the sugar-free train and feeling that little bit of hunger at nighttime you know nothing like feeling that hunger at nighttime that really puts things in perspective really i think nowadays when i haven't been feeling it i'm like oh yeah i've been actually eating probably too much a lot of the sweets recently have gotten me too it sucks but i have to get on the horse as quickly as possible and i think that's the main thing about these last three days and the main takeaway is that these old habits particularly for me are hard to break not only this but other ones like laziness and like distractedness and then like other things like that but it is today's february 1st so it's the new month might as well take advantage of that fact and just start anew you know whether it comes to diet or just for a general focus Rewatching the edit i did of the whatever it takes episode when it comes out it comes out today on the february 1st technically but this will this episode is going to come out later but re-watching that entire speech and everything really puts puts the fire in my ass just even thinking about it you know and trying to get things going you know trying to do the best that i can the key is to focus less on the things that don't matter and focus things on the focus on the things that do matter and trying to get as much
much bang for my buck with my time versus staying stagnant and doing absolutely nothing. And that's the other thing is I feel like one of the old habits that need that needs to die, but it's dying hard is just the time wasting, you know what I mean? Like yeah, using my time effectively. So that is what it is. But I think more likely than not in the near future with how my mentality has changed a little bit over the last like month or so and how I need to get back on track on stuff. I think there will be some big changes in the near future and changes for the better. So I'm looking forward to that. Let me know how you, you feel if you have any old habits that are dying hard or you know that you have trouble with breaking you know because there's always there's always something that always like impedes you or just like you always fall into the trap and it's always hard to get out of it and it sucks when you fall in but you know it's something about acknowledging that little trap that is at least first and foremost like the first step in, in, in getting it better so for me it's eating and also time wasting so I need to get better at those things I need to stop being lazy and start really getting rid of all the time traps and like things like that and also food traps too because food i'll make any excuse to eat a pizza or a cake so i gotta i gotta be very careful about that so i gotta get back on track get these goals going so with that being said i will see you on the inside all right for this first workout we start with overhead press this set which i will get to at the end here is actually a perfect example of old habits dying hard uh, which i will get to at the very end when we're, we're getting close to the to the last rep here but basically i wanted to talk about this entire thing is just going to be about old habits and stuff and how it's how they die hard but i think this i'll start with this one in that this is an old habit that i used to have at the gym and this is i think something that most people default in and it's a very bad habit when it comes to reps and stuff or just pushing it in the gym and it is at the very end in the last in the last rep I kind of let my form go a little bit too much and I don't hold the tightness so right there at the very end that's when I did the last one it hurt my back a little so I was not tight at all and I think that's one of those old habits that need to kind of go you know what I mean like you need to be careful about those things and and for me personally that's what I was doing a lot back in the day it would be you know just doing anything to get the weight up or anything like that and I don't do that as much anymore because I know that it messed me up a lot so thankfully this didn't hurt that much it was just a little bit of a stinger a little bit afterwards but it wasn't too bad then here I decided to add behind the neck presses I watched a Alex Leonidas video which he where he talked about doing these after sets of overhead press this replaced the reverse pec tech for me so I did enjoy them they were really tough so I really liked them I'm gonna keep doing them after doing overhead press I think this is a good time to talk about establishing your own form when it comes to this type of stuff where you really have to buckle down and really establish form early in your lifting career because then it will affect you later if you do not establish good form and good technique early because then it'll be hard to break those old habits that you can default into like I sometimes do but thankfully it only happens every once in a while versus it happening all the time. I think when it comes down to things like habits in the gym, you have to really analyze and figure out which ones are the ones that are bad habits and good habits, as well as your setups for ex certain exercises. For me personally, like I know when I get into a squat, my squat position, I always have like a mental checklist that I go through. And I would say that that's a good habit to get through so, so I don't do something stupid like at the end of that overhead press set where I just default and go completely animal brain and and just go get weight up and have my form break down and I think there is something to be said about that and when it comes to old habits because my old habit would be to just get the weight up or through the motion in any way possible and I think that's not necessarily good to expand it a little bit outside of the, just the gym I think it is a very hard and difficult time to break old habits just because we've been accustomed to them for such a long time and it is one of those things that you're gonna have to break the mental schema later in the episode I don't remember what it's called but it's schema thankfully I can remember it we have to break these mental train tracks that have been ingrained in your head so long and it is a tough task but it is something that is doable the question is then afterwards is to find what is the new habit that will replace the old habit and also finding new habits that are worthy of replacing the old ones that will help you in, in your life and not deter you from doing many things so it's like it's like replacing 
replacing a let's say a gambling habit with a with a sex addiction I think you know there's gonna be a lot of problems going from one to the other or replacing an alcohol addiction to cigarette smoking like you're gonna you're gonna have some issues regardless so you gotta find one that benefits you in some way shape or fashion For me personally, some habits that have stuck that have been immensely helpful for me have been doing meditation every day. I've done that for over a year, two years now, which has been very helpful, very nice, very, very recommended to most people. I don't know if everybody does it, but would recommend it even if it's like five minutes a day, still do it regardless of how much time you can get. But the more time, the better. But obviously, I know people are busy, so it's not like, you know, even just 10 minutes, it can be just enough for what you need for the day. Another habit that has stuck with me is personally this one's just cleaning I like cleaning a lot generally and I've always wanted to clean I'm just a clean cleanly like person and I like to clean all the time Another habit that is pretty obvious when watching these videos has been going to the gym. I've been consistently going to the gym now for two years now, almost two years in March. Yeah. And it has been great. I am in the best shape of my life. Highly recommend any type of exercise or fitness to anybody at any point because it has been amazing and has been life changing. Would recommend it, would not change it for the world and will always have it from now on until I can't. Things that did not stick, and this did stick for a while, but one of them was journaling. I actually did a lot of journaling back in the day, but I stopped doing it like halfway through of last year, and then I haven't picked it up again, which is something that I want to get back into because it is something, one, I have a bunch of journals just sitting around and I can use them all, but two, it is something that I feel like has been missing quite recently in my thought processes, even just writing certain things down, and I feel like I need to get back into the habit as soon as I can because it was helping while I whilst I was doing it, but nowadays I have haven't been doing it nearly as much. Another habit was as well reading at least a page every day out of a book. I think that was also very useful because it helped me condition my brain to do the same two things over and over again, which I stopped doing because I ran out of books. I was particularly reading one book that had one page each day for the year that established something new and was thought provoking, but I don't have a book like that anymore. But I could do another book. I also dropped audio books, but that was just because of, I think, financial reasons reasons, but there are some ways that I have gone around that. I will be diving back into the audio book game. Huh. All right, welcome back to the workout debriefing. Exercise is not filmed. Exercise is not filmed. Farmer's carries. There you go. I had a moment there. I could not think. Speaking about could not think, I am ultra tired right now. It is hard. I just got hit hard, super hard with like a wall of fatigue. Kind of crazy. I did not expect to feel like this at all, honestly. Mostly feel it in my back and my tricep, my right tricep, the long head particularly in the back feels it. It's from that, those skull crushers from the other day. That's not fun, having to deal with that in hurts right now, so we'll see how that goes. It's like a dull hurt, like it's super sore, so we'll see how it all pans out. Right now, to go back a little bit to what we were talking about before, right now what I would love to do is go home, eat, and then do nothing for about two to three hours, which would be be amazing that would be probably the best thing that we could possibly do but instead I think that if I do that it'll be falling into old habits that I used to do and that is waste time and do nothing then I would probably be after the two to three hours of doing absolutely nothing I'd realize oh shit I gotta do stuff and then I start doing the things but then slowly realize I don't have enough time to do everything and then it'll be like six o'clock and then I have to go do something with the guys and then I'd be like fuck I only got like two things done of the 17 things that I needed to get done and then I'll feel terrible while I'm watching this movie and I won't be concentrating on having fun and instead just thinking about other shit that doesn't really matter but I don't think I'm gonna do that today I think I'm gonna actually go home and get everything that I need to get done done as soon as humanly possible so then that way later in the day I can actually chill out and have a good time with the guys and go check out Godzilla minus one review coming in tomorrow uh, that might be the episode title but who knows we'll see it's falling into old habits is it's so easy to do just because you're so used to doing it trying to get out of it is probably the hardest part especially when it's so ingrained in your psyche there's a word for it but like your just your mental processes you always default to these these old habits that will just ruin you if you don't keep get out of them but it's just tough to get out of them yesterday we replaced the new bed and we looked at the old one like we took all the stuff off and like we saw the pure mattress the springs were busted and going 
out to the sides for like half of the mattress which no wonder we weren't like having good sleep at all and it made me think today of like that that's what it's like if you keep going back into old habits like this or you know do things that keep repeating and making the same mistakes over and over again you're sitting on a same mattress that's busted and broken and only gonna hurt yourself really if you don't go out of your way to sit there and replace it you know that's what it's like so right now I'm off to go home and go work on tomorrow's video because I have to edit and I'm gonna keep editing as much as I can and then I'll start the long form content relatively soon because I'm very excited about that as well. I have some ideas but I need a little bit more ideas but we'll figure that out. But if you have any ideas let me know in the comments below. Please like, comment, and share this video. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. I will see you on the next one. Peace.